Mm-hmm. Hey, this is Gary from the pharmacy. This is my buddy Robert. Um, Robert, we met recently. He's a very talented musician, piano player, um, and he recently got a gig at 20th and Christian playing church piano in Oregon and stuff, and uh, we've been enjoying his company here recently, playing uh, our piano in the shop and also down here in the studio. Um, and so much that you're gonna play our Christmas party, right? <laughs> December 19th. Um, but I wanted to ask you a little question or a couple questions about, um, we have a lot of people in the community who like to point us out or pick, pick us out and to say that we're a negative influence or that you know, people crowding on the corner sometimes who come to events here for, uh, for you know, whether it's art shows or music or whatever, um, they like to say that, you know, it's not positivity and what it is is that they're doing something wrong or, you know, or these kids don't realize what, you know, they have to be respectful of the community. But really, we've been here and we've been helping people like you and sure. um, people in the community like kids who, who don't have a place to come and play music or bang on the drums or on the piano. So I just wanted to ask you, who, somebody who's been around and playing music, um, what do you think of places like this who open their doors to people I like feel, you? I feel it's real important that the community realize that without a place like this for musicians, there are limited places to go practice to keep my art alive, to practice and be able to record and have intricate time to learn my craft. Uh, without a place like this, I would have problems. I'm a homeless individual. I live in a shelter. I come here to practice because I don't have ways and means to practice except for the church. And I don't always get entrance because of where I live. I live in Chester. I come up here to practice and learn more about my craft. Uh, young people come here and learn more about music. It's more like a school to me to help someone else learn what I do. I'm not a teacher, but I can teach. Uh, I do this in order to help God. Uh, I'm, I'm an intricate part of my church community. Uh, I play the piano for two churches. Uh, one is at 20th and Christian. It's called St. Charles Catholic Church. And I play across the street from there at a church called New Hope. My pastor is Pastor Clarence Pemberton. My assistant pastor is Pastor Geraldine Pemberton. I keep myself busy on a daily basis. I'm in recovery. I try to keep myself clean by keeping myself occupied, my time. My time is very valuable, and I use it very smartly. I try to keep busy on a daily basis. I continue to come to this place and learn more about my craft and help other people. Without this place being open, I would have a lot of problems. I really enjoy the guys that work here. They really help me out a great deal on a lot of different situations that I may come across. I may have problems getting to and fro, and they help me, and I appreciate them. God bless you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. uh, I just want you to play a song that you're going to play at the Christmas party. Silent Night, right? Let's work on it.
Yeah, we appreciate you. Love you.